Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a wings filter like this for TikTok. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create this wings filter here in effect house. The first thing we will do is to import our graphic for the wings we will use for this filter. I have found a graphic on Freepik, which I will also link in the description so you can just download this asset if you want to follow along this tutorial but otherwise you can just use any other png file you want to use for this filter to import the files just drag and drop your pngs in your assets panel of your effect house project when we have done this select the texture go to the right hand side and set the compression type to none so the next thing we will do is that we create a neck tracker object for this we go to our scene panel and here we click on add object here we go down to ar tracking and here we can find the neck tracker just click on it and then you will see that there is the neck tracker object in your scene panel now we can yeah, take a closer look here at the neck tracker because here you, we have the skeleton and render root and underneath we have the joint one. We can also open this joint one to joint two and yeah, there we can open a long list of joints. Those are very important because when we click on joint one, we can see here um, at our preview in our scene that this is the anchor point for this joint. When we select, for example, joint three, the anchor point is way lower. So here, this is already at my neck, but I want it more on the shoulders. So I will select the joint four or five. But yeah, we can change the position of our wings later. The next thing we will create is a 3D image ob object. So again, we go to add object. Then we go to 3D and here we can find the image object. When we click on it, we will see this gray place holder in front of us. And now we can already drag and drop our um, created image to our joint. Um, I will yeah, drag and drop it to the joint 4. Just make sure it is inside of it. Um, okay, it is already inside. Yeah, you can ch check this here. So, but I want it above it. So yeah, it is already now moving with my face and body. And now make sure that when you click on your image, go to the right hand side to the position because here the Y coordinate will automatically change when you drag and drop it in the joint. For example, when I drop it now to the joint two, the Y will change to seven. And when I drop it to joint three, it will um, yeah, change to 14. But you can just um, set this back to zero and then it is here at the joint where I already showed you the different positions. But yeah, I want it a little bit lower. So I think I will yeah, drag and drop it into the joint four again set the y back to zero and it now it is um yeah lower now when you have the right position of your image object make sure that the image also has the png as a texture so select the image go to the right hand side and as and change the default texture to your wings texture now we already have the wings here now we have to change our scale to make them bigger and also um, that they are yeah, stretching above our shoulders. So go to the properties of your image. Then here, make sure you activate this link that you just have to change one of those three properties. And I will set the scale to let's say five or even six. But now you can see I'm joined four maybe a little bit too low so i will set it back to joint three make sure you set the transformation back the position back to zero and now it looks good but now we have the problems that the wings are in front of us and not in the back for this we will create a segmentation object to segmentate the user from the background 
and then yeah make sure that the user is in front of our um, wings layer for this go again to the scene panel and click on add object and the first um, item here is segmentation and here just click on portrait segmentation when we have done this effect house automatically um, yeah segmentates the background and the user and also inserts this um, yeah color background but we don't need this background so you can just delete this background when you don't want it so yeah just select it here in the scene and delete it now we just want to make sure that the user segmentation is in front of the wings so go to your scene and just change the order of those two render groups so yeah just drag and drop the segmentation effects underneath the general um, render group and when you have done this your wings should be in yeah on the back of you and yeah this is all you have to do to create a wings filter in effect house now you can just play around with the yeah position of your image with the scale and everything to make it look the way you want it to so i will just bring it more up and maybe make it a little bit bigger and yeah so yeah just play around until you find the perfect position for your wings now you can of course change just the texture when you want to change the appearance of your wings and yeah then just upload it to effect house and you have your wings filter on tiktok thanks for watching i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so see you in the next video bye